And today I want to show you how to use Evy AI on LinkedIn. Most people don't know this, but, but you can actually use this powerful platform to help you be able to grow your business on LinkedIn. And if you're new to this and you don't know how to use these tools, stay tuned because I'm going to walk you through the eight different things you can do with this tool, starting with how to leave comments using artificial intelligence. Live right now, go ahead, leave a comment and let me know where you're dialing in from and let me know what industry you're in. So this way I could find you on LinkedIn and possibly leave a comment on your, on your post using this incredible tool called Evy AI. I'm going to second and tell you why I created Evy AI. I created this software to be able to help people be able to leverage LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional social network with almost a billion people on it right now. And it has more millionaires than any other platform. Learning how to use a ton of time. After training over a thousand business professionals on how to use LinkedIn inside our course, Evergreen Networking, one of the biggest problems people have is they don't have time to do all the activities that they need to do. When ChatGPT came out, I realized there's a massive opportunity to use tools like ChatGPT. The problem was copying and pasting things from LinkedIn to ChatGPT took so much time. I looked around for great software and the software didn't really work as I wanted it to work. I wanted to be able to create custom prompts and to be able to put in a persona and to be able to do the six most important things that you need to do on LinkedIn and I couldn't do it. So I decided to build software and now over a thousand people are using our software and my goal is to help many people be able to save time and make money by using AI with LinkedIn. So let's dig right in to LinkedIn and let me show you how this thing works so that you know exactly what to do. By the way, if you're dialing in right now and you're watching this live, let me know that you're here. Give this a, a like. Let me know that you're here. If you're watching the live, write live. If you're watching the replay, if you're watching this later, write replay in the chat. And let me know what you do for a living. What is your industry? Where are you dialing in from? I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to build a relationship with you. So let's dig right into LinkedIn. So right now, you should be able to see the LinkedIn feed. Can you guys see the LinkedIn feed? Say, I see it in the chat. Just say, I see the LinkedIn feed, Joe. I got it. And as you can see, there's a post by Molly. Now, Molly is a connection of mine. I'm going to give a comment, but I often don't have time to leave comments. So what I'll do is I'll click on this little comment button here that's integrated right into LinkedIn, and a, dial a dialog box will pop open. In this dialog box, I have three options. I have goal. I'm going to say provide value. I have tone. I'm going to say friendly because I installed a persona I get different personas I'm going to put Joe Applebaum too and I'm going to say keep the comment under 20 under 30 words okay so I gave it specific instructions I'm going to press GPT-4 which is a smarter version if you upgrade to premium smarter version of AI and I'm going to press generate and that's going to give me an error apparently <laughs> I'm going to press generate again and if you get an error for whatever reason, it can't reach OpenAI, that's okay. Just hit regenerate and it'll generate a nice short comment. Great advice, Molly. It's vital to connect with your audience by sharing us. It makes the journey more relatable. Now I'm going to press insert. And you see it inserted this beautiful comment. If I want to tag her, I just click next to her name, press the at sign, select her name. This way she gets notified. So instead of me thinking about what to write, I'm able to just scroll through here and leave comments. So I'm able to quickly, I can literally just quick generate. I don't have to select all the options and it'll read the post. And within just a second, it'll write a really well-written comment. You can see Danny, I completely agree. It's important for business owners to understand and promote their business within their community, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for your perspective. Post. I'm going to leave one of the idea. Uh, this person over here, I'm going to drop a comment just like that. I'm going to press generate. Now this is using the free version 3.5. But if you want it to be a more advanced comment, then I would recommend upgrading to premium. And premium also gives you unlimited comments. Okay, now if I want to leave a comment as a company page, the way that you do that is by clicking on the little profile here. Then you click on the company page that you want to leave a, a comment as. 
And now it's leaving a comment. You see it changed the icon from my picture right over here next to the comment box to the company page. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Evi AI right here. I select a persona for that company page, Evi AI. I'm going to press generate and it's going to create a comment as if it's Evi AI. You see that? It's creating it as if it's Evi AI. I'm going to press insert and it's going to post it as Evi AI. Really, all right, um, and I can do that as well on anything else. All right, so let me stop sharing my screen for just a moment. So I just shared feature number one. Feature number one is how to leave comments with Evi AI. Feature number two is how to write a post with Evi AI. Now by writing on LinkedIn, you end up getting exposure on LinkedIn. Most people are not posting on LinkedIn on a regular basis, and so, that's a big problem. I'm gonna teach you how to write a post with LinkedIn. By the way, if you were gonna write a post on LinkedIn, what would be your topic? In the chat, go ahead right now. Now, tell me what would you would want to write a post about. For me, it would be what are the top mistakes that people make on LinkedIn? So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share my screen right now, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this. Okay, so if I'm on LinkedIn, I'm gonna click on the extension on the top right corner here. Hopefully you guys can see See that extension do you see that i can see it and then on the bottom see it says write a post i'm going to click on write a post and what that's going to do is it's going to open up a new window that new window opens up the evi ai platform okay as you can see in the evi ai platform i'm at the post writer it makes it really easy for you you to be able to see this my linkedin live right now and you're watching this tutorial give it a heart give it a like put on a light bulb and make sure that you know that um make sure that you know that um I, I that you're live with me let me know what, what you want to post about so now over here and i'm going to tell it write a post about the top mistakes that people make when using linkedin okay and i'm going to press generate now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select a persona. I'm going to press generate. And now you're able to see like this. I press generate. You see, write a post about the top mistakes that people make when using LinkedIn. And it's going to write a post. Now, the post is going to include a hook, hook include main points. It's going to include a call to action, top mistakes people make when using LinkedIn. I would edit this post. But as you can see, it's a well-written post, incomplete profiles, lack of engagement, ignoring personalization, spamming and sales pitches, neglecting the power of presentations, ignoring analytics, not leveraging AI. This is great. I would still edit this. And if you use version four, it's going to come out much, much nicer. Um, so the better the prompt, you can improve your prompt over here. You can write whatever you want there as a prompt. Um, and the better the prompt, the better the, the post. So that's how you create a post. The next feature. I want to show you is reply to direct messages on LinkedIn. So if I go into my messages here and I see somebody sent me a message over here, will you be in Phoenix? I can click over here on Evi AI and I can say I am in Scottsdale. Um, was wondering if you know of any events happening tomorrow. Okay. I misspelled that, but who cares? I'm going to write, I'm in Scottsdale, but I was wondering if there's any events. Thanks, Jason. Thanks for the warm welcome to Arizona. It's awesome that you'll be at the homecoming weekend at the University of California. Congrats. You're going to be in Scottsdale tomorrow. Do you have any idea of any events happening there? Thanks in advance. Okay? So I'm going to press send, and now I just prepared a beautiful message over here. How cool is that, that I'm able to respond in such a beautiful way to people using Evi AI? So that's the next feature. Uh, the next feature is sending on LinkedIn. By the way, if you're enjoying this, right, I'm enjoying this and I'm getting value. If I want to connect with someone on LinkedIn, let's say, for example, I go to Jason's profile and I see Jason's profile right over here and I see that there's somebody here, Philip, who's a scientist and I want to connect with Philip or I want to connect with Brent. Okay, so I click and I see that Brent is a second degree connection. He's an expert patent and trademark attorney in Greater Hartford. I press connect. 
But then I don't know what to say in the note. So I'm going to press add a note. I'm going to press on the little EVAI logo here. I'm going to press generate, and it's going to draft a connection note for me. Now, it's going to include his name. It's going to include the fact that he's in trademark research and how it aligns with my interests. And it's going to include my name in a very well-organized way. I'm going to press send. And now I just sent him a connection request. So we showed you how to comment. We showed you how to post. We showed you how to reply to direct messages. We showed you how to use connect as well. Now, if I want to leave somebody a recommendation, let's say, for example, I see somebody over here, Stephanie, and I click on her profile, and I want to leave her a recommendation. What I can do is I can click on more. I can click on recommend. You see it says recommend. I click on recommend and I can write her a recommendation. So Stephanie was a client of mine as a technical recruiter. And I'm going to say Stephanie is a great LinkedIn connection. And, and is always useful. Had a wonderful conversation with her and I recommend her. Okay, now I'm going to press, uh, I'm going to copy, I'm going to X this out for a second. I'm going to click on Evy AI. I'm going to click on the Evy AI logo. I'm going to paste this here. I'm going to use my persona, press GPT-4. I'm going to press generate. And what this is going to do is it's going to provide value, make it friendly, use my Joe Applebaum 2 persona, and it's going to include Stephanie's a great LinkedIn connection and is always very resourceful, had a wonderful conversation with her, and I recommend her. So you can see this is going to draft a recommendation using ChatGPT4, but it's going to be using the API through the Chrome extension. So it's going to read her entire profile and it's going to type up an entire uh, recommendation that I could use on her profile. So I don't have to sit down and think about, okay, what am I going to write to recommend this person? Because coming up with recommendations is really hard things that you can do. Now, 3.5 is a much faster version than 4. As you can see, it's still going. Um, but you're going to see what it produces and you're going to be like, oh, wow, this is a really great recommendation. Now, I don't recommend using the entire recommendation that it produces. I recommend using parts of it. You don't have to include everything. I've had the pleasure of working with Stephanie Garcia as a client, and I can confidently say that she's there to assist my team as a senior technical recruiter. She's displayed a remarkable ability to connect with the right talent. Stephanie's skills, very intelligent, testament to my interaction with Stephanie. I found her to be resourceful and engaging. Our conversations were insightful and productive. I highly recommend Stephanie for her expertise in talent acquisition and her dedication to helping individuals land their dream jobs. She is true professional and a great LinkedIn connection. Wow. I'm not actually going to write that, but I just wanted to show you how quickly it can write a beautiful recommendation for your connections. And when you leave people recommendations on LinkedIn, that's a very powerful thing. So write powerful in the chat if you found that to be powerful. And the last thing that I want to show you that it can do is it can write up your LinkedIn profile. So if I go to my LinkedIn profile right now, I scroll down to my LinkedIn profile, and I click on the About section, and I click on the little pencil by the About section, you'll see a little icon there where I can click on the little purple eye file, and it'll rewrite my uh, my entire about section in a way that has all the different sections and my headline and everything in a very nice organized way. So highly recommend writing up your about section. You can tell Evy AI exactly what you're about, or you can allow it just to do it. It'll make things up. It's never going to be perfect. I want to impress upon you that the AI is never perfect. So as you can see, it wrote up an entire thing. It talks about my target market. It talks about the problem I solve, my background information, what we do at Ajax Union, how we do it, your next step. It includes a call to action. It includes my goal to train a thousand professionals and how to use it. It tells me all these things all organized nicely. Um, it tells me about my licenses. It tells me about everything. So that's really, really powerful that it uh, is able to go into my profile and make all those optimization changes and so on. The other thing that you can do is you can also save people's profiles. So if I'm on the feed and I see somebody, so no profile, let's say, for example, Molly, I want to save her so I can always comment on her posts. So what I would do is I would click on Save Profile to Evy AI, and now it saves her profile into Evy AI. Now, if I click on the little extension here on the top, and then I click on View Save Profile, See All, it'll show me all the people that I saved into Evy AI 
And then what I can do is I can actually organize them into a list. So if I click on these three dots, I can click on manage the lists and I can add her to a list. And in this case, I'm just going to write networking. I'm going to press save changes. And now she's in a list called networking and I can always filter for that list. If I want to manage the list, I just click. And finally, the last feature is to train the AI on personas. So I have quite a few different personas over here, as you can see. You can just click on add new persona here and you can add a persona. You can put a picture to the persona. You can add a name. You can say if it's a company or a person, add your industry, your keywords, your tone. And then you can add some information about your background history. Usually you want to keep that under 500 characters because if it's too long, it's not great. I do have an article on my LinkedIn. If you go to my LinkedIn profile, um, you'll be able to see I have an article on how to train the AI. I'll show you how to find it. You just scroll down to my profile and you look at my recent activity here and you click on newsletter. You're going to see this new AI to know who you are on LinkedIn. And when you click on that, I have some templates here that you could use to train the AI. Name, industry, title, company, keywords, field of expertise, taboos, personal interests, and so on. Hopefully you found this helpful. I just showed you eight different things to be able to do. As a recap, let me just quickly tell you what I told you. I told you about how to comment with AI. Number two. I told you about how to post with AI, how to write posts with AI. Number three is I showed you how to reply to direct messages using artificial intelligence. Number four is I showed you how to create connection notes using AI. Number five is I told you how to be able to create recommendations with AI. Number six is I showed you how to optimize your profile using AI, your about section. It includes a nice headline and everything. Number seven is I showed you how to be able to save profiles into Evy AI and then put them into a list so that later you can comment on people's stuff very quickly. And you can click on see all recent activity and it'll just show you all their and then you can add them to a list. And then number eight is I showed you a powerful way to be able to create your own persona and I showed you where to get the training data. If you want to be able to download this tool, go to evyai.com. Check it out. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being